let's make some fun, quick, easy, safe plastic bag prints. You have these things laying around, I'll bet. We need a plain old plastic bag. We need some washable markers. We need a spray bottle with water or a spritz of our fingertips and some paper to make our prints on. First, grab a couple of colors and color your bag. Scribble, have at it. Okay, I have one color. Let's add one more. Okay. Gonna give this a spritz with my spray bottle. Oh, I've got some fun watercolor droplets happening. It's dissolving the ink and the plastic prevents it from seeping in. So I think I give it a scrunch and I lay my paper on top and give a gentle press. It will lift all the ink right off of the plastic bag and transfer to a really cool piece of paper. I can make a card with this. I can make a drawing on this with some crayons once it dries. Uh, I can make a sign and put it in the window. Um, I can also wait till it dries and add another layer of color. Let's stick in our cool color family using blues, greens, and purples. Make sure that cap is on tight so our markers don't dry out. Only takes one spray of the water so that it doesn't run all over. Didn't take very long for my other print to dry. Lay that right on top. Let's go this direction this time. Wow. That green really turned out well. I think it makes a difference between adding the colors one at a time so that they don't all muddy up. Can't wait to see what you do and how your art looks after you color on a plastic bag. It's gonna be most helpful if we use washable markers. Permanent markers probably won't work. We can scribble and we can fill up the space however we like. I'm gonna stick to my same color family but not add more than two colors. We can add layers of color in a minute. The next step is to give our colors a little spritz of water. Oh, and you'll notice the droplets of the water are mixing in with the colors of the ink. The plastic is preventing the ink from attaching to the surface, which is great because we want the ink to attach to our paper instead. I'm gonna lay my paper right on top of the plastic bag and the water and press. I can feel all of the crinkles underneath the paper and I can see that my color is transferring. Can't wait to see what's underneath. When I lift, I have a beautiful watercolor print. Looks pretty great. I can use this to make a card. I can use this to make a poster. I can make some bookmarks with it, cut out some other shapes. I can add it to my visual journal. Um, I can send it to a friend or a grandparent with a special note that says I miss you. Let's see what happens if we add another color. So I'm gonna go right on top of our plastic bag again. This time I'm using purple.
I'm going to give our colors a little spritz. Might be able to see them pop out a little bit better on the screen now. And I'm taking our dried print from the first round. I'm going to add the purple. Let's do it horizontally this time, vertically this time. Ta-da! We have a new layer of color that's sitting on top of the first layer, and they're not blending together into brown because we waited for each to dry. Keep adding layers of color until you feel like it is finished. Have fun!